News of the investigation into the Prime Minister has overshadowed his call for pupils to study maths right up to the age of 18, when they leave school. Now, in a speech this morning, he said that his plans will help bring maths to life, which I think is a particularly hard thing. I'm just going to put my cards on the table here and say I was always absolutely terrible at maths. Whatever people have with letters and words with dyslexia, I've basically got that for numbers, OK? And actually, to be honest with you, it's quite embarrassing. Which is why my production team, upon telling them that, decided that it would be a great laugh for everyone to, live on national television, give me some pretty basic maths questions to answer and watch me flounder and everyone can realise the maths will slip. And if you didn't already think I was a complete and utter thicko, then you will probably within the next 20 minutes. But Rishi Sunak thinks it's a key skill set. Uh, every bit as essential as reading, which I also struggle with sometimes. But opposition parties say that he's guilty of getting his sums wrong, as there aren't enough maths teachers to achieve his ambition. Here's what he had to say. We're in the process of making maths more accessible, building our children's confidence so that they don't fear maths. We're creating more sector-specific content that can excite young people about the relevance of maths for the careers that they aspire to, to help teachers bring maths to life in the classroom. From building sets for school plays, to calculating the angles of free kicks or the speed of a Formula One car. We're extending our maths hubs, unique partnerships of expert schools that support maths teaching. And we're strengthening maths in primary schools, including with a new fully funded professional qualification for those that are teaching it. But we also need to address a very specific problem that's causing us to fall behind the rest of the world. We're one of the few developed countries where young people don't routinely study some form of maths up to the age of 18. They do it in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Finland, Japan, Norway and America. Why should we accept any less for our children? Of course we shouldn't. That's why I set out in January that we're going to change the way our system works so that everyone in our country will study some form of maths all the way to 18. He's banging on about maths again, isn't he? Is this really the way to win votes? I'm not sure it is. Neil certainly doesn't. Is this the best that he can do with Boris Johnson's 80-seat majority? Out of touch to a whole new level. Neil, look, I'm inclined to agree with you. I always fell asleep at the back of the maths class. I was in set nine out of nine. But maybe I am wrong about this because, I suppose, it would be better for me to be a maths whiz. Joining me now is TV personality and legend, it must be said, Johnny Ball. Johnny, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. Very well indeed. Now, I imagine that you've had a lifetime, a, a, li a lifetime of putting up with thickos like me when it comes to maths. And the, the line that I would always wheel out, Johnny, would be, well, I've never had to use algebra or trigonometry in my day-to-day -day life, but I'm wrong about this, aren't I? Uh, not necessarily. No, it, it's... The, the, problem, the problem is that we've been teaching... I've just listened to Richie Sunak for the first time, and what he said is absolutely right. Um, learning about the angles you kick a football at is still maths, but it's sports as well. So that's what he's talking about, involving maths and bringing maths to the fore in all the other subjects. And here I think he's absolutely right. Why is it so important, Johnny? Why should people get excited about maths? Uh, it's essential to everybody for life. It really is. But what's been gone wrong is over many years, um, education ministers have said, I know, I'll weaken the curriculum slightly, and that way I'll get better figures next year, and I think I've done better uh, educationally. And, of course, that is, has failed. When I did my programmes around 1980, we studied uh, how people went, did maths, and in Singapore they had the best math mathematical turnout in the whole world. And when they looked at it, they were using old British mass books, which were now stuck on the shelf and we didn't use. We'd moved on, but sadly, we'd reduced our maths. OK, look, we've got to liven maths up, Johnny, OK? We've got to liven it up, because when I hear the word maths, it makes me want to drop off to sleep or walk into the sea or something like that. I have a total mental block. How do we make maths sexy, Johnny? There are so many things. First of all, you should teach more geometry. The Greeks were the greatest math nation ever, and they didn't do numeracy. They didn't even give their numbers names. I'm half Greek. 
One was A, two was B, three was C. But they did geometry. And with geometry, you could really understand so much more. Johnny, I'll tell you what, I wish you would be my math teacher. I really do, because I would have been I great. Never was I, could... a math teacher. I know, I but I just wish you had been. Teacher. I'm just saying, I just wish you had been, because actually, to be honest with you, I might have paid more attention. You are you are gripping in a math whiz. Thank you very much. TV personality Johnny Ball there, the legend himself. Right, okay. So here is the moment.